welcome to my channel Tutelage a guide to economics this is Riparna hope all are doing good in my last session we had already discussed the meaning of statistics its characteristics limitation role of it also but today we are going to discuss another important topic of statistics that is collection of data clear so I think uh, it is it will be more helpful to everyone okay so if you have missed my last session so please go and check my description box and my first comment where the previous videos link is already shared so learner let's start the session and just move on the next slide so here uh, this is an overview of this class so let's check what we discussed today so the first one is sorry uh, the first one is the definition of the data and the types of data also second concept is uh, the differences between the quantitative and qualitative data third one is sources of data fourth one is uh, differences between primary and the secondary data and last concept and that is most important concept that is concept of variable and attribute clear so learner uh, let's move on the next slide so here we can see the definition of data so at first we have to know what do you mean by a data so data is defined as facts or figures or information and which is stored in or used by a computer okay so it is defined as a facts or figures that means the numerical figures or the qualitative figures also for example information collected for a research paper so we can say uh, the total amount uh, so amount of total production of rice for the different years is needed for this research so those information is called as data clear so i think it is clear to everyone so now go to the next slide here we can uh, see the types of data so we all know that data is of two types the first one is a quantitative data and second one is a qualitative data so uh, from the name we can say the quantitative data indicates the quantity of the data like one two three etc clear and qualitative data indicates quality of the data clear so now move on the next slide here uh, we can see uh, there are some differences uh, between quantitative and the qualitative data so um, for the quantitative data we can say it deals with the numbers not the quality okay so uh, one two three etc so that's why which uh, that's why it can be measured okay and uh, the example of the quantitative data that is height or weight of the individual that is uh, 54 kilos uh, or, or uh, the 5 feet 4 inches uh, height uh, of the pupil etc and uh, last one is the quantitative data indicates the quantity of the data uh, like 1 2 3 and 10 20 30 etc now go to the next part that is the qualitative data so it deals with the description portion and it can be observed but not be measured clear so example of the qualitative data is color or smell etc and it indicates the quality of the data not the quantity so i think uh, the differences between quantitative and the qualitative data are very is very clear to everyone and which is one of the most uh, interesting and easy uh, topic or portion to everyone okay so now move on the next one so here uh, this is a slide for uh, sources of data so we all know that the statistical data may be of two types the first one is a primary data and the second one is a secondary data and this uh, both the both types of data will discuss in the next slide so now go to the next slide 
So here this is the slide for primary data. So at first we have to know what do you mean by a primary data. So primary data are those data which are collected for a specific purpose directly from the field of inquiry and hence are original in nature. That means someone collected the data from the original source and that's why primary data is known as the first hand information. And what is the example of the primary uh, data? So any government publications uh, or the, the, like census figures uh, which is published by the Registrar General of India or the government. Okay. So I think it is clear to everyone and now going to the next uh, type that is the secondary data. So secondary data are such uh, numerical information which have previously been collected by some agency for one purpose and merely compiled from that source for use in a different connection. So uh, that means uh, data collected by government organization for their study. After a few days or few years, any private organizations, institutions or any schools, college has to take that type of data for their study from the different perspective for the different objective also. And that data is known as a secondary data. For example, when the census figures contained in any other publications which is known as a secondary data. I hope it is also clear to everyone and which is a uh, most easy topic also. Uh, so now move on the next slide. Here uh, we are uh, talking about uh, some differences uh, between primary and the secondary data. So the first differences of the primary data is uh, they are collected for the first time and it is very accurate but it requires a lot of time and money because a researcher, a researcher uh, collected the data from the field of inquiry. So that's why it requires a lot of time and money. And primary third one is the primary data is the form of a raw data. That's why any precaution, any editing doesn't required for the collection of the primary data. Now going to the second one. Uh, second part also uh, second uh, part that is the secondary data so they have already been collected by other person and it lack accuracy but it doesn't require lot of time and money because data uh, at first data collected by someone else earlier and any private organization after few years has to take that data for uh, their for their study from the different perspective also that's why it uh, that's why it doesn't require a lot of time and money for the private organizations clear so third one is it is form of a finished data that's why pre question and editing is required okay so now move on the next slide so here we can see the concept of variable and which is one of the most important uh, topic of statistics. So variable is any characteristics or number or quantity. So variable indicates a quantitative data only which can be measured, which can be counted and which uh, is used in mathematical operation. So variable uh, a variable indicates a numerical value that it makes sense to do the mathematical operation, not the uh, qualitative data. Clear? So, variable is the quantitative data like 1, 2, 3, etc. So, variable is of two types also. The first one is a discrete variable, and second one is a continuous variable. But this will uh, discuss in my next video. So now we are going to the last slide that is attribute. Okay. So attribute is a qualitative character of the individual data. So what is the basic differences between variable and attribute? Variable is a quantitative character and attribute is a qualitative character of an individual and which cannot be 
measured which can be observed only so attribute indicates only the quality of the data for example of the attribute that is habit of drinking or smoking of the individual clear so attribute indicates quality only not the quantity clear so uh, in this session we have already uh, discussed the definition of data its type sources of data and differences uh, between uh, the primary and the secondary data and concept of variable and attribute i think uh, it will be very helpful to everyone so in my next video we will describe another uh, part of collection of data uh, that includes uh, the uh, differences between the discrete and the continuous variable and uh, uh, various methods for collecting the primary and the secondary data so if uh, you have any query about it please do comment and last but not the least do not forget to like comment and share with your friends and please subscribe to my channel thank you